hello friends welcome back to the open queue render farm software configuration and setup installation video series this is part two in my previous video i already showed you how you can install and configure the database postgres database for your open queue and in this video we will install the rest of the elements for open queue so this is all the files which is required as you can see these are the tar files or zip files you can say whatever is like uh, these are the uh, python files which we need to install inside our windows machine to run our application okay let's just go and see here. right now i already downloaded as you can see here uh, it's in my download folder here I, my previous installation is actually here which is version 343 and this is version 4 so in this video i'm going to continue with the, my version 4 so that is uh, we will also explore what is the new features here right so inside download here you can see that uh, we have all this and let me just delete that first okay so um start first let's just uh, go to the location wherever you want to create and here i already created a location d open q v 4.0 and here we first thing is we need to create a virtual environment this is very very important so let's just go right click create open a powershell here and if you uh, click on shift and then right click then you will see this option right now if you don't click on shift then you will not see so that's why if you want to open any location in windows in terminal or in shell so you can hold shift and then right click and then you will see open powershell window here that is very important and very interesting also so now i already in this folder i don't need to go with cd and all let's just create a virtual environment so python m minus m and then use uh, v e n v and then v e n v that's it what that will do is we will create a v e n v folder here in this location and that will be our virtual environment and if you don't know what is virtual environment go and check out my virtual environment video tutorial which i already created in vfx pipeline channel and you can find out inside my channel and i will put it inside description of this video and also in the i button okay so virtual environment already created now let's just close this and that's it for that and here you can see we have this virtual environment folder created the interesting file here is if you go inside script this activate so whenever we want to use our virtual environment we need to execute this activate button and all these modules that we downloaded whether it is uh, uh, pi outline pi q or q submit q gui all this we need to install in this environment so that will not conflict with our other installation so whenever we want to go with our previous installation that that files already installed in our other virtual environment which i will show which is our this virtual environment here okay so here if you go and i will also show you after installation how it will looks like so if you go inside libs and site packages and here you can see you can uh, check it out like date modified and uh, here by outline okay and also you can see uh this uh, where is that uh, q so q submit q gui all these packages already installed here but that is version 4.3.43 uh, let's just go inside our latest one so our virtual environment folder is here uh, first thing we will install is uh, pyq for example let's just start with this just extract it here let's just pi outline also extract it here so right now we have these two folder okay so now what you have to do is first you need to activate this virtual environment and then you need to go inside this folder and here you need to execute two command first thing is you need to install the requirement so to execute to run iq you need to install all these packages inside your virtual environment okay the same thing you have to do again and again for every single package which we download and once you download the requirements and then you need to do python install and uh, basically you can follow this guide also 
डोंट वरी आई विल डू एवरी सिंगल थिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू ऑल्सो सो आई विल जस्ट गिविंग यू सम रेफरेंस सो वेन एवर यू गो पाई क्यू इंस्टॉलेशन हेर यू कैन सी दैट पिप इंस्टॉल रिक्वायरमेंट डॉट टेक्सट एंड पाइथन सेटअप डॉट पी वाई इंस्टॉल सो दीज टू लाइन्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हेयर दिस इज द लीनिक सेटअप विच यू आर सींग इन द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन आई एम शोइंग यू इन विंडोज so here same thing we want to do for that to make our life easy i just created a batch file and i just love batch file because they just automate our work we no need to write same thing again and again so what i'm going to do here is first i'm going to activate my environment so with this line i'm going to activate my environment and this second line i'm going to install the all the requirement and after end sign then i will just say python setup dot py install and that's it so when i execute this it will install the let me just uh, if i can increase the font size for you okay now it's better right so this is what i write here this is the only line here all you have to do is you need to change your path from here whatever installation path you have uh, after that then ve and ve script activate should be there so it might be, it looks complicated but this is very easy let me just create one manually and then we'll use this script i think that is the good idea okay so let's just go first and uh, let me start the terminal or a command prompt and in that command prompt let's just go inside v e n v and this is the manual way guys okay this is the manual way i'm not using the smart way right now just to show you how much the work i automated okay so this is let's just go inside scripts and drag this activate inside this command prompt and then hit enter so once you hit enter now virtual environment is activated perfect now we need to go inside this folder because our all the packages are here so pyq will let us install so just copy this and hit cd and then paste enter okay but still you see that your uh, path is not changed for that what you have to do is you need to do b and colon and hit enter so now you are in that location of this folder okay now what i have to do is i need to install this uh, requirement.txt okay so for that requirement of that text what i have to do is just use python uh, sorry pip install and minus r requirement.txt and hit enter so once you hit that what will happen it will start uh, downloading all the required packages for your virtual environment and after that it will uh, try to install every single thing inside your uh, virtual environment it it will not install in your pc or any other so it will not conflict with any other packages that's it so we are done with the packages and just to check we can go and see that whether we have uh, any 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 of this uh, package for example let's just see our this grpc so grpc is activated or not just go to virtual environment lib site packages and you can see that grpc module is there perfect now we need to install our pyq because pyq is missing from here you won't see the pyq here right there is no pyq here to install pyq what you have to do is as they mention inside this python setup.py install the second line the right? first line we install uh, we write this and the second we will write this so python setup.py install ah. python setup.py install hit enter perfectly fine and now you can see that it's already doing all this stuff and it's done so now we have pyq we should have pyq here yes we have pyq here so our pyq is installed that's it now we need to do same thing again and again for every single package that we have now let's just use our this script and let's try if we can do this let's just close this copy copy this script inside py outline paste it here and just hit run that's it we are done okay you can find this script inside uh, my git repo i will copy this inside my github uh, account and you can download you can get uh, 
that uh, link in the description of this video. So we're done with these two and let's just install RQD, extract here, RQD, just paste the install file here and then hit enter. Da -da -da. All done, looks like all done, looks like everything is done and you can see that here things are updating. So that is also, you can see time to time once it's installation is done successfully very good let's just refresh perfect okay since we are not seeing any error everything is fine easy install is done okay let's just go back and let's see what else is left here we need to install q submit extract here q submit let's just put paste here install now it's installing the queue submit here. Uh, still queue submit. Queue submit here. You can see that queue submit is coming. It's pretty easy actually. And let's just go and find out other queue GUI. Interesting package. With that, we will see the interface and extract here. And this will contain all the PySide UIs and all okay what this is saying is it's saying qi needs a windows okay this is weird hmm. okay so right now we are we are stuck here okay it's installing pysite 2 that's why it's taking time because we are installing qsubmit which uh, dependency is uh, pi side so yeah now it's already done completely done it's fine we can close it uh q gui we are getting some issue here uh q admin let's just take the q admin first click here so q admin we have let's just paste our install batch file copy put our q admin batch file here paste run it again so it's done already let's just see we have q admin okay most of the files actually you will see here itself also so when you go inside virtual environment uh, scripts and uh, you will start seeing all this stuff here like rqd is here and uh, other other files will be come here like q submit q submit exes because we are compiling that right same time it's very easy very fun right no commands already we write everything because in windows you know things if things are on uh, we are used to do things on windows side with like somebody give us a installer we will do that next 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 and it's done so that is something which we want right okay let's just queue gui it's showing some error and uh, let me try extract here and uh, yes to all I don't know why it's showing this weird error. You required a privilege. Why do we need a privilege as an admin? Okay, but anyway, I just need to delete this UGUI. Again, I need to open RAR WinRAR. WinRAR, let's just uh, run as administrator. So now we just running this as an administrator. Okay, let me copy this, paste this, open our QGUI and extract, extract to QGUI all. Okay, so no issue. So for some reason you need to start with admin and then you already have QGUI here. Inside QGUI, we need to copy our install batch. Hit copy QGUI and paste it here and uh, try install that. Okay, looks like we are stuck here and we see some martial data bad martial data and this is more important part here last time i was struggling with that i was seeing oh, what the hell is this how why this martial data bad martial data how do i get rid of that 
okay i will tell you what is the solution for this uh, bad marshall data you have to go here and type for pyc okay type for pyc and uh, what you have to do you need to select all all pycs okay don't worry about that pyc will be regenerate and delete that all pycs you need to delete this is what the solution which i found let's just skip whatever things is uh, do this for all okay so what we did is we search for all pycs and we just deleted every single thing let's just go inside uh, cggui and see any p pyc uh, looks like nothing is there okay now let's just go inside and uh, hit install again install dot batch okay perfectly fine you see that it's already installed so that was the hack where you can just i don't know for some reason they are providing pycs which is not compatible so now we have qgui we have qsubmit we have every single thing whatever required for us to start our application and we are good to go okay so installation part is done now how are we gonna start the application that is tricky right so in my next video i will show you how you can start your applications like q submit and open q render manager and viewer monitor every single thing uh, using some smart batch files okay so follow with me in my next video thank you